It is summertime and we can easily become dehydrated in the summer heat, but a good way to restore the body and help it recover are electrolyte drinks. We have the STL Veg Girl here with us this afternoon and we are myth busting today. Yes, Karen. we are. Yes. I'm here for it. We yes. always like myth busting. Mm -hmm. I like the way you do things. You have a natural approach to it all and we're helping our viewers at home. Yes. Okay. So in the past, we have talked about too much sodium in the diet, and we know that that can lead to hypertension and heart issues and just a whole bunch of chronic illnesses. But what happens when we don't have enough sodium in our bodies? I don't know. You hey, tell well, me. <laughs> we get dehydrated? We, well, we, yeah, we go a little haywire, and that can look, you know, that can look like fatigue, that mm -hmm. can look like dizziness, you can pass out. And typically we see things like that, like in the hot St. Louis summers, and you're from Houston, you're no stranger to the heat, right? Whew. I know. So if you're outside, if you're extra exercising or you're you're you know if you really enjoy doing yard work mm -hmm. and you just, it just gets to you when you sweat that sodium comes out also and if you don't have enough of that electrolyte which is what sodium is it's a mineral that kind of helps well it does help keep the water where it needs to be in your body so if there's no signaling saying hey you know what we're not going to have that gatekeeper mm -hmm. you know there and we're just going to get rid of it with the water as we're sweating it out then you've got issues right okay, and okay. we don't want any issues and we don't want any issues so what people tend to go like if they're you know playing sports or whatever which leads us to these sports drinks so if you are dehydrated and you're falling over on the on the you're field, like, you know, this is fine, this is fine in a pinch, but mm -hmm. let's go over some of the ingredients. Okay. You know, you might be able to see this better than so oh water. Boy. Water's the first one, right? But that second one has me scared. This says high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nice. Thanks. Okay. And if you're a growing body, right? You're a young kid on mm -hmm. the field, and you're dr you're drinking this all day. You're yeah. gonna be sugared up. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna be sugared don't up. Want that. And there's a whole. There's what like six or seven lines of ingredients. I that, can't even. You're right. I can't read. So well, I can't. Cyanobalamin, azorbic acid, triglycerides. Yeah. A lot of that stuff, right? So again, in a pinch, it's okay. We just we don't want you to fall over on the field or in the in the yard. I when I tell y'all I got so excited, I was like, ooh, sour power. <laughs> well, there's the free advertising. <laughs> This is bad for you, St. Louis. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, it, again, in a pinch, it'll be, it'll be helpful. However, why There's a not, healthier way to do it. Yeah, why not just take a little bit of water, a little bit of sodium in the form of salt, a pinch mm -hmm. of salt, and add some fruit, and then always keep that in the fridge. So before you go out and you cut the lawn, or you, mm -hmm. you work out outside, or you're doing whatever, you are taking preventative measures, right? I like that, being yeah. proactive versus reactive. Yeah, so these are a couple that I made this morning. Yum. And don't these just look they prettier? They look good. <laughs> Prettier than that. I mean, where do you find this in nature? This electric color? Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> oh, by the way, there is there is um, color added to that, which is an endocrine disruptor. But you know, whatever. That's we another don't, show. We don't need it. That's we need, another we need, show. We need the natural stuff, honey. All yes. natural. You want to make one? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. You have all. So the first thing you want to do um, is take a pinch of salt. It can be any kind of salt, okay. um, and a pinch. You know is usually an eighth of a teaspoon. You can put a fourth of a teaspoon in there. It's gonna be highly diluted, right? Okay. So then it's just totally up to you. To you. Now the reason we add fruit and even a little bit of sweetener, if you wanna do that, we're not doing it today, but um, is because it's aesthetically more pleasing. And also if you need to take water right away, mm -hmm. the last thing you probably wanna drink is salt water. No. So we're gonna <laughs> add a little bit of fruit, right? Okay. And it can be anything you want. I have some fruit over there that's cut up for you. I also have some I'll make one with you. Okay, thank, I'm so excited so, for this. So let's do this. Now we'll take this out mm -hmm. because you've already added your salt. Now that, when you take herbs, mm -hmm. because you really want to taste them in there, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of squish them. Squish. So you want to release the oils okay. of your herbs and get them in there. This is, I think so this is why my water smell them. never tastes like the hotel water. They're, they're doing this extra step. They're muddling them somehow, okay. either within their, you know, their hands or a spoon or, uh, you know, whatever. And then you just have fun with this. And you know what? I didn't even add the salt. So I'm going to add, add your salt, gotta, girl. Got to add a little this bit of salt. what it's all about. Yeah, over the shoulder. Okay. Now... Mm. Yeah, and you just add, and here's a little bit of ginger, which is so nice. I, please. Oops. You know I have my ginger every day. Okay, they're telling me we're running out of time, Kim. Okay. So okay. I'm going to do, in okay. my mind, I want ginger and orange and pineapple. So I, this I is all you're going to do, of course. We know how to do this. Mm -hmm. Keep that in the fridge for at least 
an hour. Okay. And then yes. what we can do here is I'm going to take these away for running out. Okay. You're going to take that. Yum. I'm going to give you this lemon mint Ooh, and okay. ginger that I made earlier. With some kiwi, some yeah. strawberries. I mean, come on. If this is I love if this. This is all me. it's going to take for you to remain energized, healthy, then and, why not? And then back to work. That, you know, and it, I will say it's a heck of a lot less expensive than that stuff, too. You know, it is, it is cheaper. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's nice. That's amazing. Well, it's pretty nice. It's just, it's just lovely. <laughs> hey, Lewis. It's the Center for Plant-Based Living. Monthly recipes, cooking classes, group support calls. She does it all. It's Karen. Dugan, the STL Veg Girl.